my channel today I am doing a classic like French Parisian makeup look we're doing the winged eyeliner the red lips um I think it's like a perfect everyday fall winter look but I also find it really like holiday appropriate um I'm gonna do a little bit of skin prep because my skin is so angry recently um I've talked about it on my channel before how I've been like struggling with like dermatitis around my mouth but it's just been coming and going in waves where my skin's clear and then it gets like worse again. Um, it's really bad like around my eye and cheek area. We're gonna take care of it today. Um, I'm already started with a like washed face. I've been using the Seven Fridays um, gel cleanser and also the Monastery Rose cleansing oil. Really good. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a sheet mask. I have a few from the brand Inna Organics that I've been using recently. Um, the green tea one has been really like soothing and calming for my skin. Um, but some of the other ones are the Neroli Brightening Mask, the Rose Geranium Soothing Mask, and the Mer Deep Moisturizing Face Mask. Um, so you're supposed to leave these on for about 10 to 15 minutes. I really like them because they're made out of like organic cotton for the actual sheet itself and it absorbs so much of the like serum so they're super juicy, they really absorb into your skin. You have so much serum left over on your skin after so they're amazing for that. I think I'm going to do something more calming just because my skin is a little bit irritated right now so I think it's probably best that I stay away from the um, brightening face mask and instead I'm going to use the Rose Geranium. This is clinically proven to show visible hydration results and it helps calm down any redness and soothe the skin discomfort post sun and wind exposure. So actually really good. I find super windy my skin gets irritated but um, let's see how this works for my currently um, red and irritated face, I am going to use the little guide. It's like a bubble. There we go. And then just like form it around your face. These things are so juicy. So I'm just gonna form it around my face. Perfect. It, literally, there are so many juices in here. It's like very, very, very hydrating. Then I'm just gonna massage the rest into my hands, leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes as directed. Um, this one in particular also has aloe extract, chamomile extract, gink, ginkgo leaf extract, which I've actually never heard of. Um, but I know that both chamomile and aloe are also really hydrating and soothing ingredients. So um, hopefully this just helps to soothe my skin a little bit, but I'm just going to finish it off with a bit of like my serum cream from Monastery, also from Nourish Clean Beauty. So um, I've talked about Nourish Clean Beauty before. It is like a luxury clean beauty retailer website that you can purchase a lot of amazing clean um, brands on and they've started including a little bit more like makeup brands but definitely it's very skin focused at the moment but this is where I've been getting my monastery products also the inner organic face masks um, but the monastery has been this like new luxury skincare line that I have been absolutely obsessed with um, so I'm going to be topping that up with the Flora. This is the Botanical Cream Serum, which is like a serum cream hybrid after I'm done with my sheet mask. Okay, so I started taking this off and realized I should have been filming it. So and then I'm just going to massage the serum. Like I said, there's so much. So 
So now that our skin is all prepped, we are going to start with the makeup. So I'm going to be using my Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation in the shade Atelier 1. This is like my new winter shade and it is amazing. Chef's kiss. I'm just going to start by applying this all over my face. I'm using a brush just because I find it easier to clean between my uses and keep it more hygienic than a blender at this point. I'm just trying to minimize anything that could be like a possible irritant finger just to apply it. And I'm like using a different finger each time because I'm actually... And this foundation is so good at covering up redness. I know that Gucci Westman actually suffers from rosacea. I had a foundation that would help to provide skin benefits for her rosacea at the same time as covering it up. So I love, oopsie, that it has like skin benefiting ingredients at the same time. Take my concealer just to go under the eyes. bit around my mouth and I know that the redness isn't going to be like fully covered especially like it has a bit of a bump in texture so that's fine you can see a little bit of redness through but I don't need my skin to be like a hundred percent flawless Next, I'm just going to set a tiny bit just because I don't want it to be tacky. So I'm just going to powder a tiny bit with my Ilia translucent powder. I'm going to add a tiny bit of contour. This is the Westman Atelier Trace Face Contour Stick in the shade biscuit. And this is just the Morphe E5 brush. It's like a pretty densely packed fan brush. Love it for cream products. And then for blush, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use cream. I just feel like cream products are just like dewy and hydrating for your skin. So let's see. I am going to use Petal by Westman Atelier. applying it to my fingers, smiling, and popping that under the apples of my cheeks. It gives you that nice like wintry rosy glow. I'm try and blend that in mostly with my fingers. I'm gonna keep brows just really minimal. I'm just using the Rare Beauty Brow Pencil. Not my favorite brow product, but I don't have any more gel, so I need to get some more soon to replace my Merit Beauty Gel. And then I just take a spoolie, just a clean spoolie, just to brush everything out, make it a little bit more natural. For my eyelids, I'm just going to use the Shantakai Mermaid Eye Matte in the shade Sylvie. And I'm just going to take like a little floppy brush. This is the Sephora Pro Crease Brush. And just blend that into my crease.
Just keeping the eyelids super simple. So now we're going to move on to the eyeliner. I'm using the Rouge Paris. This is the Lie Liner. Eyeliner. <laughs> and just very small strokes. And then I'm going to do the wing. Definitely cousins, not even sisters. That's okay. So I'm going to let this dry before I curl and go in with my mascara, but I will be doing my lips. So I'm going to do a bit of lip prep first. I applied a bit of lip balm before I started the tutorial because my lips were definitely dry. And we are going to line my lips with some red lip liner. This is the Cure Weiss lip liner in Classic. This is like, I think my only and also my favorite red lip liner. So I kind of just applied that around the perimeter of my lips and I smudged it a tiny bit. Now I'm going to take my Ilia lipstick in True Red and I'm just going to blot it. And then I just take my finger just to smudge it out. And lastly, I'm just going to apply it from the Rouge palette this bright red on top. These have definitely like a more powdery feel. Lastly, we're gonna apply our mascara. Okay, here we are. Here's the finished classic makeup look. Smudged kind of matte looking red, the winged liner, minimal skin. Hope you enjoy. Bye guys.